In this video, we will discuss the B mechanical picture of the scattering. So you know that in scattering, what will happen that when we have the beam of particle, for example here, this beam of particle and here is the target. So the particle will get scattered in all direction. We will call simply it is a scattering takes place. Here is the target. So this is simple scattering. So here we will discuss the Bayes mechanical picture. So in this case of scattering processes, the in this beam of the particle which is we are bombarding on the target, here each particle we will consider as a quantum mechanical object. We will consider it as a quantum mechanical object. If we are considering quantum mechanical object, so we have to express uh, uh, we have to describe each incident particle with the help of the wave function <coughs> or by describing with the help of the plane wave this is basically representing the plane wave that incident part. and another thing we have already discussed that we will consider that this beam is steady incident beam that particle their number does not or you can say does not depend upon the time time independent you can say the beam is time independent their number remain the same and because it is quantum mechanical object so we can express with the help of this or the particle is described by the plane wave and here each particle before the scattering each particle particle before sc uh, scattering you can say is free they are not we can consider that each particle is free you can say <coughs> before the scattering and this uh, momentum each particle having momentum h cross k naught here k naught is the wave vector wave vector so this we will talk about the each particle and what they would carry the momentum and regarding the beam so you know that after scattering what will happen that your the pattern of this incident beam or B pattern will get um, get distorted due to the scattering. You know the scattering is due to the when the bombarded particle interact with the target or collide with the target particle that the which we represented with the incident wave that will get distorted or B pattern will get distorted stationary word we are using here because here the this process scattering is also study process here it is also time independent <coughs> and what will happen at the large distance that that scattering uh, from the scattering center because what will happen at the large distance from the scatter when you can say the r is at infinity this the from the center to detector here you have detector so at r is equal to infinity how i can represent it with the, the help of wave function so that distorted wave function i can represent as the sum of incident wave plane wave plus scattered wave function <coughs> so with the help of uh, diagram how I can show that plane wave. so this these vertical lines which I have represented here they all are representing incident wave incident plane wave you can see with E I K naught R this is the incident plane wave. so when this scattered wave they interact with this so here this when it interact with the 
target or collide with this incident plane view they collide with this we will get the scattered part or you can see the particle they will diverges out and we can represent this scattered wave with the help of wave function <coughs> either i can represent it with the a exponential i k naught r and a minus i k dot r so here these two component you know that this is uh, representing incoming wave and this is representing outward outward wave which is going radially outward direction which is represented by uh, this component and here a uh, in this incident plane wave a is normalization normalization uh, effect <coughs> and here is k is v vector v vector for scattered v and You as uh, if you see this uh, diagram that this is representing the scattered component and this scattered component is not spherically symmetric if you see that and you know that uh, with the passage of time what is happening that this uh, wave component they, it is, they are expanding in the outward direction it means that flux scattered flux is we can denote it with this phi uh, wave function scattered wave function square into h k y m so if i multiply it with the velocity of the scattered particle that gives rise to the scattered flux and you know that this scattered flux decreases as 1 by <coughs> r square so it means that i can say that this wave function for scattered component is 1 by r square is directly proportional to <coughs> 1 by r square because with the they are expanding it means that flux is decreases with 1 by r so i can say that this uh, wave, uh, wave function is 1 by r square and this scattered wave because here the wave i can say they are radially outward direction so we will not consider this component because it is representing that they are coming in inward direction inward direction so that is not happening here so we are, are saying we are, can use this i k dot r component for this scattered wave so this is uh, scattered wave function is directly proportional to the i k dot r this is and here this is i can i is equal to a into here i have written this is cos this is represent constant of proportionality constant of proportionality this factor and e exponential i k dot r by <coughs> by r and this factor constant of proportionality we will call it scattering amplitude and here so this scattered uh, wave function is a is normalization factor f of theta 
and 5 because here this is is representing that this factor constant of proportion which we denote it with the scattering amplitude is a function of theta and phi or you can say that its amplitude depends upon the direction theta and phi along which uh, it detected because here we have placed the detector so the direction where we uh, it depends on our theta due to this reason this is not spherically symmetric so this scattered factor uh, wave function i can write this is a f uh, theta plus phi exponential i k dot r y r so this is one component <coughs> so that earlier we have i have said that this the wave function this is representing the uh, scattered scattered particle at when r is large or you can say the infinity and this for the scattered particle it, it get distorted and so we can write scattered component uh, is superposition or total wave function this is after scattering after scattering the total wave function consists of a superposition of the incident plane wave and scattered wave so this is incident wave and scattered wave and uh, incident wave we uh, wrote this is a exponential i k not r plus upon theta phi exponentially i k dot r by r so this is representing the uh, after wave function total wave function after the scattering you can say that this is superposition of these two component plane wave as well as the scattered wave and we can represent with the help of diagram in this manner and this is incident plane wave direction and this will get scattered it makes an angle theta so this is all about the so the wave mechanical representation of or picture of the scattering process